what happened. They were, I think they were the worst eight years of my life, I gotta say. Three, two, one. All right, there it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> missed the fucking shot, didn't I? They reckon Frankie's the first British person to go out. This is quite bad, isn't he? He's definitely the first Cardiff bloke. Mission complete. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I gotta make the films, what we're gonna do. La, 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 la. Basically, when I was, when I was um, a teenager in the mid 80s, I thought my old man was uh, MI6 working for the government. That's what I saw about. There's a guy. That guy. Frankie Kerrigan. I've got a first draft, it's only a first draft, and I believe it's not going to be another six months, it could be a year till I've actually finished it. Most important film of my life, man. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I do another film for the rest of my fucking life, man. I don't give a shit. I finished the second um, draft of the script. I get my life together, and I rewrite it again. I mean, I, I could be writing this for years. I could be writing this for fucking years and years. Pathé turned it down today. Got hair problems, man. It's just gonna go on forever. Three and a half years now writing the film. I really don't know whether I'm gonna get this fucking film made. Or not. I don't know where the next month's rent's coming from. I'm going bald making this film, man. Finished the script, a new version of the script. BBC has passed. That's the most productive thing I can do today, is waste of fucking tape. I've got to start up a budget. That's it. The eviction letter from the uh, landlord again. And I go for the rewrite of the script, man. How's it ever gonna be worth it? I need to fucking rewrite it again, I can't believe it. I'm a three fucking one today. Every year, a bit bolder. Every year, a bit fatter. 20, no, I fucking wish. I'm 32 today. I started this film, I had hair. No fucking ugly, you know? Can't get my fucking film made for love nor money. Why does she yell on Sir Frankie come back? Maybe this is a lesson, man. Never write anything too personal. Ah! I'll make it with fucking Polaroids if I have to. I'm going mad. Five years. I'm trying to work it out. The bad news is, I think I might be missing my third act. I just feel like I'm going backwards all the time. You got another draft coming up, and uh, that's gonna be fun. Just think the feeling of failure. <laughs> it's the script. It's the script. It's just for a change, you know. Fucking six years on, and still no film. How's this gonna end? Can you imagine? If I went through all the stress, and I never made the film. I just wanna fucking make this film, man. That's all I wanna do, you know? I had a text from Sally saying that she, uh, the producer saying that she, um, she read the script and she, uh, she thinks the great, the, the, the end is great now, uh, which was the only problem in the previous draft, but now I think that, thinks that, that there's a problem or some problems with the beginning. That's why I thought I was there, it's bang, you know. I just wasted a third of a year rewriting something that didn't need to be rewritten. What the fuck do they want from me, man? I don't know whether I can get the energy to like do another draft again, you know? The new draft! I used to be a filmmaker, what happened? I'm gonna do another fucking draft. Well, I'm not gonna call it a draft because it's too painful to call it a draft. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a little rinse. You know, I want to make a fucking love story It's gonna make you fucking cry and laugh at the same time. I want to make a I want to make the ultimate father-son story. I made it to Sicily, to my mate's house. And um, I woke up in the morning, and his mum's died. Basically, just starting to go through what I've been going through for the last six years. Just missing them. And this is pretty much what all this six years has been about. January 1st. 2006. Um, I've been working on the script today for a change. The Welsh Film Council are 
and I'm uh, back in us. I'm definitely getting there. I can't get my head around it at all. It sounds like it's happening. So, we haven't got the money from the Arts Council. Uh, but I have told everyone. Maybe I look normal. Am I normal? Is this normal? I start to know I'm fucking on the draft, but. I feel like that feeling like. Uh, like when Frankie died. I'm just getting these like anxiety attacks and these, these paranoia. Oh. Sounds are just. Heightened. I got a constant headache. I've got like the back of my head is squeezing like that. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. This is a very strange moment in my life, I gotta say. It's like kill myself. About a year ago, I got ill in, on this process, and I feel like I'm coming back. And over this seven years, it's kind of everything kind of crumbled away in my life. It looks like the film is happening. Oh yeah, another good thing about this last year is I fall in love with Rachel. Right, well, an H-bomb has landed in my life. Rachel's pregnant. I'm not just making this film for me and my father. I'm making it for, for, my, for, my, for, my, for my child. I finished the film last week when Frankie died that I had to make this film. I had to make this film, you know. I started it when my father died and as I was finishing it, my son was born and I became a father and it feels like the circle's complete. Thank you.